Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're comparing Apple Silicon M2 or M1 chips to previously Intel powered Macs. And we just wanted to make a video specifically on this topic to address some of the differences and what you can expect in terms of performance, cost, etc. Now, before we get into that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we talk about the new Apple Silicon, let's recall Intel Mac features. Intel Macs have been known for their performance and extensive compatibility. They run on x86 architecture, supporting both Mac OS and Windows applications. And that's a feature that's highly appreciated by developers and professionals. Now let's talk about the M2 Max. This in front of me is an M2 Mac, and I have to say I have personally noticed the processing power when it comes to video editing, for one thing. Uh, but overall, really happy with this computer. It runs great. It works exactly for what I need it to. So these machines run on Apple Silicon, marking Apple's transition away from Intel. The M2 chip is built on ARM, which offers superior energy efficiency and processing power over the Intel chips. Now, when it comes to comparing the performance, Intel Macs have been praised for their power, but M2 Macs take that to a whole nother level. They're faster, more power efficient, and have better integrated graphics performance. The standard M2 Max use an eight core CPU with four performance based cores and then four energy efficient based cores. And this provides a really remarkable balance between the two. Now, when it comes to compatibility with Intel Max running Windows was a breeze, thanks to bootcamp. But the M2's ARM architecture did pose some initial compatibility issues. However, with Apple's Rosetta 2 translation layer, as well as growing native app support, most apps now run smoothly. And we can't forget to mention virtualization software like Parallels Desktop 18, which is making it possible to run Windows on M2 Max. When it comes to future proofing, Apple's focus is clearly on its own silicon. That means that software updates and optimizations are gonna be geared towards M1 and M2, and the support towards the Intel chips will fall off over the next several years. So in terms of investment, M2 or M1 Max are gonna be a better long-term investment. So in conclusion, Intel Max had a great run, but the Silicon Max are seemingly pulling ahead with their superior performance, power efficiency, and Apple's dedicated support. Although some niche applications might still be favoring Intel, the transition to Apple Silicon seems to be the future. So that's our comparison for today. If you guys have any questions about that, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back with you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed the video, it really helps to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, be sure to check out Indigo Software if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.